Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week I wanted to talk about reducing waste and doing things in your life that help the environment and help you be a more green person. This is something that I've been kind of working towards for a long time with different changes in my life and adding new products or taking them away. Um, and so yeah, I kind of want to share like what I've done in order to be a better, more responsible user of this world and um, the ways that I hope to in the future that I haven't quite implemented yet. So the first, I mean not the first thing I did, but the most recent thing I did and the most kind of in style thing I've done is I bought some reusable metal straws. Um, I just got these off of Amazon and they were, um, I believe for the regular set it was like $13 and then for the set it was like $15 because um, I got the multicolored multi set. But as you'll see in a second, and that might seem like a lot for straws, but when if you see, wait for a second, um, you'll see that they are actually, it's like a set. And so, first of all, it comes with this nice, um, what's it called, like velvet bag to keep them in. So if you want to take them in your purse with you when you go out and like get food, um, then you can do that. And uh, so yeah, it comes with, I believe, eight straws. Um, so here they all are. There's two long bent, two small, short bent, two long straight, and two short straight. Um, so yeah, I got the version that is like color changing kind of, like chrome uh, looking. But yeah, they're just, and they also come with two uh, like cleaners, like they're kind of like uh, pipe cleaners almost. And so you can clean like right down into the straw. And yeah, I love these things. Um, I've been using them a lot, like whenever we go to a restaurant and we get pop or water, we always like tell the waitress, like, please don't bring us a straw. Sometimes they will anyways because, you know, I'm sure they're so used to doing it, like putting the straw in the, um, in the cup after they feel like it was soft, soft drink, they're just so used to doing it, so I understand, um, but yeah, we always try to ask and, um, if they bring us a straw that's on its package, we just won't open it, um, and use those instead. I really like them, I think it, they... They always make your drink taste colder in a way because the straw gets cold and so when your mouth around it, the straw is cold because uh, it's metal so it can get cold. Um, but yeah, I really like them. I think they're definitely worth the investment. Another big change that I've tried to implement is to stop using paper towels so much. Um, it's really easy to just like whenever there's a mess or whenever there's something you need to clean to just grab like a bunch of paper towels and clean it with that. Um, but that's super wasteful and... Um, bleached uh, paper products like that are really bad for the environment. So I try to cut down on that. Like obviously there's some times where you just need paper towels. Like if you spill a lot of liquid or something like that, you just need paper towels. Um, but when it comes to doing other things, I try to use rags. So we bought a big pack of like multicolored rags recently. And um, there's a little chart in our uh, linen closet I'll put up on the screen somewhere. Um, and so I had the different purposes for each of them. Um, I don't remember them off the top of my head. All I remember is that orange is for like really gross drops. So if there's anything that's like moldy or anything like that, we'll use those. And then, because the main reason why people use paper towels is they don't want their, their items that they pay money for to get wrecked or be beyond repair. But so that's kind of why I, um, but that's why I color coded them so I can know that I'm not cleaning my dishes with something that cleaned the toilet last week. Um, and I also make sure to wash them in super hot water and with like um, bleach or something that will get all of the germs out. Um, I definitely wash them a lot more, like not thoroughly, but with a lot more harsh like things going into it than I do with my normal clothes because I know that they're being used for dirty things. But it really helps cut down on waste and it also really helps cut down on cost because you're not buying paper towels like every month. You just have this pack of washcloths. Another huge creator of waste, uh, especially in our house, was saran wrap and tin foil. Um, because we love leftovers, like we would basically, um, our thing that we would do when we were both working was we would just cook a huge like crock pot meal on Sunday and then eat it through the whole week, five days in a row, the same thing, like we don't mind doing that, so we, that's how we would do it, um, which is great because it helps cut down on food waste and blah, 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 but it also means that you end up using a lot of saran wrap, like, or, or tin foil to preserve it. Um, so what we are tr trying to use instead are these little Pyrex containers. That Nick's mom actually got us a long time ago, I think when we were first moving into our first apartment together. Um, and they're just like little Pyrex things, so like glass basically. Um, and yeah, they're really nice. I, think, I find them a lot nicer than um, plastic Tupperware because plastic Tupperware stains really easily and it warps and it's, 
um, you're not supposed to put it in the microwave and like all this stuff is not very really great so I recommend this Pyrex stuff it goes in the microwave totally fine um, it's really durable I mean it's glass so it could break but it's pretty durable like I've dropped it a couple times like just on the counter and nothing's happened um, and yeah, you can buy them in packs so when they come with like all these different sizes. Like I said, I think we have like three of these sets like in our cupboard at any one time. But yeah, that really helps cut down on food waste because it keeps it really fresh. It's a really tight seal and it helps cut down on using saran wrap or tin foil, which is just a one-use plastic uh, or metal item. Um, as far as laundry goes, there's a bunch of different things that you can do. Um, the number one thing that I always try to do is use cold water uh, instead of using hot water. It just helps you save on... Uh, the electricity or gas um, that heats the water in the first place um, and also 99% of clothes um, they don't get damaged by cold water like there's a lot of stuff that you're not supposed to put in hot water but there's nothing that's like you know this will shrink if you put it in cold water like that's not how it works so you're almost always safe to put it in cold water um, and I find they come out just as clean as long as you use like the right soap um, I also use uh, I also use laundry detergent that is um, dye free and uh, uh, fragrance free so it's a lot less um, chemically I mean it's still a chemical soap but so yeah cold water um, some sort of like green or fragrance free uh, detergent and then um, I also try to hang things up instead of putting them in the dryer um, like we have a, uh, a clothes rack downstairs that you can hang stuff on we use it a lot in our apartment because we don't want to pay for the dryer and now it's where we hang certain things that can't go in the dryer, but now I've been trying to increase its use for things that could go in the dryer but don't need to. Um, and then when you do use the dryer, I highly recommend using dryer balls. Um, this is a wool dryer ball that I bought a couple years ago at an Etsy market, actually. I'll put the link to their shop below because they have a lot of cool things and you can get like scented ones like that. Um, basically, I got a pack of two of these and you just put them in your dryer just like you would dryer sheets and it helps your clothes not be staticky because it like attracts all the static into like the wool or whatever. Um, I really like them. I think they work really well. The only problem I've ever run into these with is sometimes they'll get caught in something like um, like the corner of a fitted sheet or the sleeve of a shirt um, and then that area of that piece of like clothing or whatever will be very staticky because it's still like soaking up all the electric, all the static but then it's also immediately putting it into whatever it's stuck in. So that can be kind of annoying, but still overall it works just as well as dryer sheets and you don't have to buy a new box of them every month and you don't have to throw them out afterwards. Um, so yeah, I really like these. Um, they also said that if you like the smells that dryer sheets bring to your uh, laundry, that you can put uh, a drop of essential oil onto these and they'll do basically the same thing. Another thing we did recently is we changed basically all of the bulbs in our house to energy efficient ones. Um, they were decently energy efficient before, they were like the swirly ones, um, but we changed them to full LED ones. And um, I mean, we took advantage of a, uh, not a rebate, but like a sale that they were doing um, because of the government uh, energy plus sort of um, grants that they were putting out. Um, I'm doubtful that will ever happen again now that we have our new premiere uh, but anyways uh, I still highly recommend it even though they might be a bit more expensive than what we paid for them um, it just is something that you can do that is like an investment because it's also not only is it energy efficient which is good for the environment but it's energy efficient which is good for your electricity bill uh, we've also been really huge in making sure that we use our reusable bags um, I was we were both so but we had a ton of we were so bad at remembering to take them out of the trunk when we go into the grocery store and then when you're checking out you don't want to go back to your car blah 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 we were really careful to make sure that we always grab um, at least one out of the trunk before we go into the store. So we've been using those uh, to try to cut back on plastic bag waste and the ones that we do have, because we have a, to a ton of plastic bags, like a total backlog of them, um, we've been using them as grocery bags so they're not just being thrown out, they're being used for something else. Are they we're being used for garbage bags? Did I say grocery bags? No. And also um, a lot of blue bins will um, accept I forget which bin it is, but one of them accepts uh, plastic bags as a recyclable object. So make sure that if you live in a place like I live where it's like a, a, a complex where there's public blue bins where you're supposed to take your recycling to as opposed to taking it up to the road, um, check to see if one of your bins accepts plastic bags um, and then you can recycle them instead of just throwing them out. So another thing is as a dog owner, 
I have to take my dog for a walk and my dog goes poop and I have to deal with that. So first of all, make sure you always, 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 always clean up your dog's poop for a million reasons starting with, you know, it's a bylaw basically everywhere and ending with it's just a good person thing to do, clean up after your animals. Um, but it also can be a problem for like your local environment, like it can cause problems where um, it can spread diseases to different animals or it can cause illnesses when they when other animals consume it or it can get clogged up in things like diff like um, sewer drains that are not meant to handle sewage like that like they're just meant to be like runoff um, tons of tons of problems like that and it's just just pick up your dog's poop, please. anyways I feel super wasteful doing that because I have to use a baggie every time and so the best way to do that is to to like deal with that is to use um, biodegradable poop bags. These are um, unscented, so they don't have any sort of like fake fragrance on them that adds more chemicals to the situation. Um, but yeah, they decompose a lot faster than a normal plastic bag, which never decomposes basically. Um, and so yeah, I like using them a lot better. Also, sometimes I will reuse the plastic bags that you get from the grocery store when you get fruits and veg. Um, as long as there's no holes in it, you can use that. And then, again, that's just like another way to reuse a bag that would most likely just go in the garbage unused. Um, then at least you're getting utility out of it as opposed to just throwing in the garbage. And the last thing that we do is we do not ever buy water bottles, uh, bottled water at all. Um, bottled water is terrible for the environment. The bottles, like, you know, a million reasons why they're terrible. Even if you recycle them, it's it's so easy for them to end up in landfills and they never decompose and animals eat them and they get sick from it or they get hurt or get stuck in, in them and they choke and blah, blah, blah. So we don't do that. Instead, we have a Brita filter and we uh, drink water from that. And we also have metal water bottles that we can use if we want to take water on the go with us. Um, I recommend getting the biggest Brita filter you can find. The one that we have is literally like three liters or something like that and we only have to refill it like every once in a while so it's really it's really useful and not annoying to have to like re like refill it all the time so those are the things that I have changed in my life uh, in order to kind of reduce my footprint on the world uh, there's a ton of other things that I can be doing um, and so here are some of those things that I either should be doing or I'm working on you know implementing in my life uh, the first one is having my computer uh, on less um, it's a big PC, which not only takes a lot of energy to run, but it also creates a lot of heat when it runs, which means that I need to turn on the air more and turn on fans in order to keep the cool knit, in order to keep the living room livable, basically. Um, because with how how hot it's been outside, plus how hot the the computer gets, it's terrible. So, but it's tricky because I work on my computer and I go to like uh, basically go to school on my computer, and that's where I do my YouTube, it's where I do my blogs, where I do basically everything I do all day long. Um, and so I have to try to find a balance between having it on and having it off that is a little bit more balanced as opposed to just, I basically, I basically turn it on in the morning and then it runs all day long until I go to bed, whether I'm on it or not. Like usually I'll just leave it on because I know that I'm going to come back to it at some point. So getting better at turning it off or at least putting it to sleep uh, is a big priority for me. Uh, another thing is kind of related to the first thing and it's like I kind of mentioned it before anyways, uh, and that's having air conditioner on and fans on. I am so sensitive to the heat, like I don't know what it is, but I just, as soon as it gets above like 20 degrees, I just am sweating and I'm hot and it's terrible. So I always basically am overheating, I always need something on like a fan or like we just got an air conditioning unit recently and it's basically if I didn't feel bad about it, it would be on all day long, but I know that it takes up a lot of energy to run it, and I always feel like I shouldn't need it, like I should just do something else, like sit somewhere else or something like that. Um, and so yeah, solutions on how to keep cool without using an air conditioner is definitely something that I want to look into. Um, another thing I want to buy is reusable mugs that I can take to Tim Hortons. Um, I like the idea of instead of using cups, which are paper and are recyclable, um, just being able to use my reusable mug. Um, not only would that be better because less waste, but it also would be better because it would mean that I would have to go in to the Tim Hortons as opposed to idling in the drive-thru and like just creating exhaust fumes. So yeah, that's something I'm kind of looking out for. I want to make sure, I don't know how strict Tim Hortons is with this kind of thing. I remember when I worked at a at a coffee shop, they weren't very strict about you using your um, 
own mug because I just kind of estimated what size it was close to. So I don't know how strict Tim Hortons is with um, your mug being the exact same size, but yeah, I'm on the lookout for a large sized reusable mug for Tim Hortons. Another thing I want to start doing is buying in bulk more often. I try to do this with different things that are non-perishable, like for example, whenever we buy uh, tin foil, I always buy the like a hundred mile roll that's like this big and whenever we get grocery bags I buy the, like a 500 bag box because it doesn't matter um, and they're usually cheaper um, But I want to start doing that with like food instead of buying packaged like sugar and flour and coffee beans and stuff like that Just getting some mason jars going to bulk barn getting it in there not creating any waste with bags or tags or anything like that just reusing the same containers um, and yeah, creating less waste that way. But yeah, so those are some of the things that I'm trying to bring into my life uh, and change my behaviors in order to be a more green person in general. I would love to hear if you guys are doing similar things, like if you are um, using you know metal straws or if you are composting or anything like that, or if you have any tips for me with my um, you know upcoming ideas that I want to have going on that I'm a little bit confused about. Um, if you have any advice, please leave it in the comments down below. Um, or if you want any more specific advice, uh, I could give some. I'm not an expert at all. At Oh, when it comes to green living, I'm sure there's a million things I already got wrong in this video when it comes to being the most efficient person when it comes to using these different resources. So, yeah. Um, if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out my other socials in the description below and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later days.